welcome back to my channel. This is a vlog, if you couldn't tell. Um, today it is Friday, July the 16th. It's currently 8.45 and I just got done with my last assignment for the day. It was a purchase transaction and I had to do scan bags and all that good stuff. So I, I did that, excuse me. And I just got back and I'm doing some admin stuff, making sure I have all my stuff put in for uh, all the assignments that I've been assigned as of yet for the month. Make sure I'm up to date on all my invoices that needed to be sent out. Check to see if there was any that was in collections that I need to follow, um, follow up with. As well as um, I'm also prepping. So I got these. I'm also prepping for some appointments I have for tomorrow on Saturday. Um, as of now, I have three appointments. First thing tomorrow morning, I have a Texas cash out. I have a general notary work, which is a power of attorney, medical and durable. Then I have another general notary work where I have to go inside a um, inside of a jail and notarize some documents for an inmate. And that's about it. As of yet, um, whatever other general notary work comes my way, I'll make sure to take that. And that's pretty much it. So one thing I wanna to touch on is admin, administrative duties. I know as notaries, you know, we're just always on the go, 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 and we're worried about just getting as many orders as we can, meeting that monthly quota or that weekly quota that we set for ourselves. And sometimes on the admin side of things, we can kind of get backlogged because I know it is a task to sit there and go through all the orders you've accepted, all the general notary work, if you do any other type of uh, services, entering in all that on your accounting software, notary gadget and all that stuff, keeping up with the billing, but it is a necessity. You wanna try to stay on top of it. So if you can put aside some time each day Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, however you operate your business, where at the end of the day, um, you can just uh, enter in everything and just stay on top of everything daily so it doesn't get out of hand. And that seems to work best for me. And I like to do it, you know, at nighttime because that's kind of when I'm un unwind unwinding and um, because all throughout the day I'm just ha, ha, I'm hyped because I'm on the go. I'm like, huh, my phone, huh, I got an email, huh, I got a phone call, huh, 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 you know, and my focus is here, there, everywhere. But towards night, I'm more mellow, relaxed, and I can take the time to concentrate and focus on administrative stuff and reading stuff. Also, too, um, I like to set, a, set aside time um, at night and on the weekends to. Um, update my social media, work on any marketing things, work on my website, look and see how many, um, how much traffic I'm getting to my website, look at my Google page and see how that's doing, read any reviews, respond to any new reviews, things like that. So that's important to stay on top of, stay on uh, top of as well. So um, I guess it's pretty much it from now. I'm pretty much done with the admin stuff, pretty much done prepping everything for tomorrow. I'm just going to unwind and relax because my day's early. Um, lately, I've been waking up six o'clock, pretty much. It's just like an internal clock. I just pop up and I'm like, dang, it's six o'clock. So I guess that's my, that's my time that I'm gonna set to get up every day because that seems to be the time I get up every day, which is good. This allows me time to get up before my kids get up so I can, you know, get myself ready in peace. You know, I can pray, I can say my positive affirmations, I can get my mind right for the day. I can go over my to-do list. If there's any early admin stuff I need to do, I can do that. I can check my doc, check docs, prep, docs, whatever, make sure everything is in order so my day can go as smooth as possible. So um, tomorrow is Saturday, I know, but I'm probably going to wake up at six again tomorrow and that's fine. And I might actually take you guys to the gym. I think I'm going to start back focusing on 
exercising because that for me that has always been like a stress reliever and this can get very stressful being in this profession because you're constantly on the go you're constantly driving dealing with bad people's driving and the traffic and then just the high demands of the job and you're, you're, you're doing admin stuff as you're in the car trying to drive. You're trying to focus on where you're going, trying not to get hit. People are like, hey, I just emailed you this. Hey, I'm going to text you this. Hey, you know, it's just a lot going on. You're just always having to juggle and be very attentive. And working out was kind of like my de-stressor for me. I, I was something I did to focus on me. I know it releases, um, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, endorphins, endorf endorphins, whatever the positive chemicals are that make you feel good. And it's just like a <sighs> breath of fresh air for me. And I know if you look good, you feel good. And it's just positives all the way across the board. So that's another thing I'm going to do. Since I wake up early, go work out, do everything else, get ready for the day. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is Saturday morning, and I'm headed to my 10 a.m. Um, cash out that I have. And uh, hopefully that goes good. No issues. And no mistakes. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, excuse my air conditioner, y'all. It's hot. I just got in my car. So basically, um, I gotta go to the. Ooh. <laughs> so basically, I gotta go to the ATM machine real quick, get some cash out because I do have to pay now um, to reserve a room. So gotta take care of that and then hurry up oh lord jesus and then hurry up and um get to the title company because some of these people are real funny like if you get there they get there super early and they expect for you to be there when they're there if they show up 15 20 minutes early and it's just like no nah. woman says 10 yeah i'll see you at 10 so let me hurry up child let me hurry up This ATM machine ain't acting up. Hey, let's see. All right. Oh, luckily, everything is in close proximities because your girl woke up this morning and I was big chilling. I was taking my time. Like, I ain't had nowhere to be at no particular time. Let me back it up. And I need to stop doing that. I'd be like super, super relaxed and shit. <sighs> How today kind of goes by fast as far as my appointments are concerned. Because sometimes you just get tired of talking to people, dealing with people, you know. I get tired of that sometimes. It's draining. Sometimes I just want to be low-key and I just want to chill. Let me know sometimes. Let me know if you feel that way too sometimes. I'm a, it's like I'm an extrovert, but I have introvert tendencies. If that makes sense. Okay, got the money. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can exit out this way and get to where I'm going. I said I'm going, going. Uh, is it gonna be a problem? That's gonna be a problem. Okay, you guys. So I just, well, not just, let me not say that. So I finished my um, Texas cash out 
it took a little bit longer because there were elderly and one of the signers couldn't really see good so the other signer the spouse had to help them point out where to sign and make sure they signed it correctly then after that i just got finished with my first um gnw which was a um durable power of attorney i had to go to a senior living community and the son um yeah it was for the son, it was for the son and um got that taken care of that took all of five minutes and now i am headed to my jail signing to do um a durable power of attorney and a medical power of attorney use the left lane to take a slight left turn to merge onto i-20 west and hopefully i'll be done well, i am back at home as you can see i'm in my comfy attire i already completed the jail signing that took like about 10 minutes at the most i was in and out from there i dropped off a package at ups for my late signing i had yesterday uh went and got me some good old chipotle as you can see got me some guac what y'all know about that guacamole okay but anywho um so that's pretty much it today i don't really have anything else on the agenda if anything pops up cool if not that's cool too i just really want to relax and watch my netflix um i'm currently watching this one show called manifest or manifestation so it's good i like it so it's about um these people they go on a flight they have some type of bad storm, bad weather in the air, and they look up, and I guess it sucked them through some type of uh, wormhole that they're like five and a half years into the future. And everybody's like, what the hell? They thought they were dead. Like, where y'all been at for five and a half years? And they're like, we ain't been gone five and a half years. We was on a plane. So that's where I'm at. So it may sound a little cheesy, but I actually like it. So if you guys have any Netflix shows or movie suggestions go ahead and drop them in the box below because when i get free time i just love to watch netflix movies or watch stuff on hulu or my amazon prime and just chill relax nothing too much